Millennials are way more collaborative in their process of finding a home than older generations are. They tend to utilize all the available tools, including their phones, social media, online networks. Older generations rely more heavily on the real estate agent for information and advice. Millennial home buyers are also way more diverse. While only 9% of all homeowners are Hispanic, nearly 15% of the millennials buying homes are Hispanic. So let's look at the top seven characteristics of the millennial buyer in today's market. Number one, 87% use an online resource at some point in their search for a home to buy, 97%. Two, desire for shared community amenities even in the suburbs. Number three, they collaborate more, using social media, seeking input from friends, relatives, and neighbors, 58%. Number four, they scrutinize more agents, asking friends and family about their experience with agents, and reading online reviews more than any other generation. The top priority is a sense that an agent is trustworthy and responsive to their need. Number five, the average shopper goes on seven home tours, and while they may incorporate online research, they tend to be hands-on at decision time, preferring to meet an agent in person or talk on the phone and prioritizing private tours of homes and by a professional. Number six, only 46% of the buyers get the first home on which they make an offer, reflecting the reality that in today's tight market, the search would take an average of 4.2 months, comes with competition and disappointment. Number seven, 56% save up for a down payment by setting aside a little money at a time. Almost 32% use more than one source for their down payment, including gifts, loans from family, selling stocks and bonds, and cashing in on retirement savings. Demographics are shifting more rapidly now, and it's imperative to stay relevant with your potential clients. Next week, we're gonna look at the profile of the seller in today's market. Now, for minding your own business. All right, so now most of you are on Facebook and other social media platforms, and you try hard to post, pin, and share. Adding content is always great, but do you know when to reach out? First, you have to actively listen across all of your social media channels. Pick up on the cues, they're out there. You just have to listen for them. Here's one simple, easy example that should get you thinking. Lori, your Facebook friend, posts, this is our little Sarah, she's graduating this week, and we're so proud of her. I can't believe her youngest is leaving home, Woohoo! Now what does that mean to you? Reach out to Laura, congratulate her, build on your relationship with her, Talk about their future plans now that they're an empty nester. Maybe they need help on understanding their home's worth and what they can purchase going forward. So get in there. Well, that's it for another edition of the Real Estate Insider Weekly. Thanks for watching. See you next week and have a great day.